even while we're in the midst of the worst GPU drought that we've ever seen, there are actual rumors that the Super Series are going to be coming as early as January and the 4000 series as early as the end of next year. I think that's pretty crazy. Let's sort of go over what this may mean. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. So let's go over this really quickly. Now, we don't have any GPUs readily available. The ones that are out there are generally gonna be the light hash rate GPUs, like the 3080 Ti seems to have been popping a lot recently and the amd gpus have been a little bit expensive also 6900 xt's for over two thousand dollars so the landscape is not that great for gpus so performance is not the problem here it's not like we're saying oh we have these gpus but they don't perform that well i've said this many times all the games out now they're not really that great i mean battlefield is coming out that's going to be one of the things that are going to be very interesting it seems like a lot of people shifted their views from frames per second to perhaps Perhaps hash rate with crypto mining being so profitable which is a little bit unfortunate for sort of the gaming fund and that side of it because um, a lot of people either can't get a GPU or if they do they prefer to sell it at these outrageous markup because it's just not worth it for them because the games really do kind of suck so what does it mean if a 3090 Super or a 3080 Super comes out next year? If Nvidia somehow were able to change their manufacturing process for a GPU like this, that's when it would be interesting. We're not really caring about performance anymore. We really want efficient stock and availability and for the prices to stay close to what they were with the initial announcement of the RTX 3000. Would it be nice if a 3080 Super has a little bit more VRAM than the TI? Maybe it will come with 20 gigabytes of VRAM. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool but it's not something that people are absolutely clamoring over for i think it's going to be better if they have a new manufacturing process maybe they change from samsung to tsmc or something like that where they can produce more of these lower the price and get them to the hands of gamers a lot more efficiently even with the crypto market booming we really do have to focus on the future and what's going to actually happen with the pc building and gaming market because i know like many of you that's really the market that's near and dear to our hearts so it's really a shame to see it sort of collapse and GPUs strictly become mining and business tools. That certainly seems to be a little bit too cold and callous. So we'll have to see what the Super Series will bring. Maybe more light hash rate GPUs. At least from the specs, they seem like they'd be very capable in terms of mining as it may have faster memory speeds like with the 3090 Super. But that's something that we're going to have to see. And then getting a little bit even more ahead of ourselves would be the RTX 4000 Series. Now, one thing that I would expect with that generation would be massively increased prices, especially if these sort of shortfalls that we've had recently with availability continue. And according to what the NVIDIA CEO said recently, looks like 2022 certainly will be a year that we're going to have the same type of issues as we've had in 2021. So having said that, you can easily see how the 4000 series are going to be outrageously expensive. It may mean that more are available because people don't want to buy something so expensive especially if the rtx 3000 series the supers do come out within a few months of that gpu most people are going to be more than fine with that performance you could say most people are more than fine with even a regular 3070 or a 3080 without needing to go to a 4080 or 4090 and if the drought continues these GPUs now are still going to be expensive in a year's time. So that only tells you that a 4000 series would be outrageously expensive. And unless Nvidia changes their manufacturing process to make it completely different than what we have now, and sort of the silicon shortage in the entire industry improves, we may be in for just years and years of the same type of shortages without being able to get these products at the MSRP prices that really they were intended to be at. So we will certainly keep our eyes towards the future, the super, will be the first things coming out we're going to see how that affects stock and availability the performance i'm not really as worried about interesting to see what the vram comes out at but the rtx 4000 while i'm sure it's going to have tremendous performance unless something changes i really don't think that's the type of news that we're very interested in now we want to hear that they're making more 3000 series gpus and a lot of gamers still certainly want to get their hands on these cards all right, guys, so remember to subscribe, smash that like button. Let me know what you think about these GPUs coming out, probably even very, very soon. Is it just too many products in a short amount of time that really aren't helping the stock situation? Not to mention the performance that we really aren't asking for at this point. Let me know what you think down below. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.